There's just, there's no time. It appears to be random. What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna to talk about 10 random cereals. Well, not really random since I chose these 10 cereals to talk about, but it's still sort of like a grab bag of random boxes. I'm not gonna be able to dedicate an entire video to all the boxes I want to before cereal time ends. So I figure why not use one video before we wrap up to talk about and show 10 boxes that deserve a little notoriety, but not too much notoriety. We're gonna run through these as fast as I can. There's a reason these cereals don't get their own dedicated video. First up on the list, Coco Corn Pops. This chocolate corn pops was released by Kellogg's back around 2000. And as you can see from the box here, it was for a limited time only. As you can also see from the box here, it wasn't like our traditional regular corn pops there. These corn pops look more like the Canadian version of corn pops, which are just corn puffs. So basically this version of corn pops is kind of just like Cocoa Puffs. Now the back of this box featured this cool galaxy glider that you could cut out here and assemble. And this is the only unopened box I have left in my cereal collection. So let's do the honor, shall we? So here's what a bowl of those Cocoa Corn Pops looked like. As I said, just Kellogg's version of Cocoa Puffs or a chocolatey version of their Canadian Corn Pops. I don't remember this stuff being on shelves very long at all. And there isn't much evidence of it online either. So it's kind of a rarity in that sense. The cereal is 20 years old, so I will not be trying it, sorry. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next box. Now this one, I don't actually have a physical copy in my collection, but I wanted to share with you anyways. This is Clacker cereal, and it was released by General Mills back in 1968. It was a graham cracker type cereal that kind of reminds me of Cracklin' Oat brand in the shape and texture. This cereal was supposedly on shelves for about five or six years, and then a few funny commercials where people or things would be suddenly replaced by a box of Clacker cereal. Here, take a look at one of these commercials. Cinderella, must you leave the ball? Oh, yes. For midnight, I turn into... Clackers. Clackers, the surprising new cereal that tastes like graham crackers. And now little Willie will play the flight of the bumblebee on his... Clackers. Clackers, the new Big G cereal with a surprising flavor. Clackers taste like graham crackers. Graham crunchy, golden delicious graham crackers. Get clacking with clackers. Wish I could come across a real box of that cereal for my collection. Anyway, moving on to our third box now, we have Team Flakes. This stuff was released by Nabisco back in 1963. It was marketed as a four grain cereal because the flakes were made out of corn, wheat, rice, and oats. Sometime in the 70s, they dropped flakes from the name and it was just called Team Cereal. But in the 80s, they added flakes back to the name and once again, it became Team Flakes, as you can see here on this box from the 80s. This box came with a free Planters Fruit Nut Mix inside. You can see on the back of this box, they advertised what they called action packs of Planters Nuts. Here's a commercial for this cereal from the 80s. You are looking at four of the best cereals you've ever tasted. You are looking at a team flake. You are looking at the taste of wheat, the taste of corn, the taste of oats, and the crunchy taste of rice. Team flakes. Four great tastes teamed up to create one deliciously crunchy cereal. It may not look remarkably different, but what your eye can't see, your tongue will taste. Team flakes from the Nabisco. A team of taste in every flake. This cereal had a pretty long life, lasting until about 1993. That's a good 30 year run. It's a popular cereal that a lot of people clamor for them to bring back. But since Nabisco doesn't really make cereals anymore, I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, let's move on to the next box. And this one is Ripple Crisp. Now you can probably guess from the box design that this cereal came out in the 90s. General Mills released this fun new type of flake cereal in 1993. It came in two flavors, this honey bran version and a golden corn version as well. On the back of the box here, they kind of explain the gimmick of the cereal. Old flakes get soggy in milk very quickly, but these ripples or ridges on the flakes help keep the milk out and keep the cereal crisp longer. This cereal always kind of reminded me of those Ruffles potato chips, but they were crispy and they had a nice sweet flavor to them. Here's a short commercial for this stuff. Ripple crisp is the only flake with ripples to keep it crunchier. Crunchier means you can savor that lightly sweet corn taste to the bottom of the bowl. Ripple crisp, golden corn or honey bran. Ripples make it crunchy. Crunchy makes it good. Ripple Crisp never really caught on. Unfortunately, it was discontinued within about a year. But I really love this cereal. I wish General Mills would bring it back. All right, moving right along. The next cereal box we're gonna take a look at is Wishing Stars. This was a Disney-themed cereal released by Post back in 1981. You can see here the full name is Jiminy Cricket's Wishing Stars. It was a fruity tasting cereal with little star shapes that you can see in the bowl there. And you can see here, this one came with a free stargazer inside. On the back, they explain what a stargazer is. It's just a little thing that told you which constellations were in the sky. 
guy. There's not much information about this cereal online. I've never seen a print ad or a commercial for it anywhere. It lasted for about a year at most. My assumption is that in the 80s, kids just didn't really know or care about Jiminy Cricket. He first appeared in Pinocchio back in the 40s and probably wasn't the best spokesperson for a Disney cereal in the 80s. Sorry, Jiminy, but it's the truth. At least you got a cereal. A lot of Disney characters never get one. All right, let's move on to our next box now. This one is Corn Crackos. And unfortunately, this is another box that I don't have a physical version of. This cereal is released by Post back in 1967. Supposedly, it was little corn twists that made a cracking sound when you ate them. At least that's what the commercials would have you believe. Here, take a look. Crackos, Crackos, wake up for Crackos. Have you heard what happens when you crack into Crackos? Are you kidding? I'm Cracko. Say how'd you do? What's all that noise? You, Marshall! The Dylan Gangs and Charles. Corn Crackos, new from Post. Crackling little twists of golden corn cereal, sugary sweet and crisp enough to drive you wild. It crackles when you crunch. You hear it too, mate. Get new post corn crackos. The mascot was the Cracko Bird, and they had a few commercials with him. They had a box where you could send away for a Mr. Potato Head, and this box where you used the monocle from inside the box to help you decipher the picture behind the picture here. This cereal lasted for about three years. I wish I had been around to try it. These corn twisty shapes are kind of unique, and I don't think we've had another cereal shape like that since. All right, moving on to our seventh box now, we're gonna talk about Clusters. This memorable cereal was released by General Mills back in 1986. The thing I love most about this cereal is the commercials for it featuring a squirrel. If you like nuts, you'll love Cluster cereal. Clusters is the only breakfast cereal with almonds, pecans, walnuts, and honey crushed into little nut clusters and mixed with crisp flakes. If you like nuts, you'll love cluster cereal. There was a great one where he became the robo squirrel and hunted down the cereal. The cereal itself is just wheat and bran flakes with little clusters of almond, walnuts, and pecans. The cereal changed its name to Honey Nut Clusters in 1995, and it continued being produced after that for another 15 years or so. But General Mills finally pulled the plug on this cereal in the early 2010s. Fans are really passionate about this cereal. A lot of people loved it, and I think people are hoping that one day General Mills will bring this back. All right, moving right along, cereal number eight is Temptations. This cereal was introduced by Kelly back in 1995. This original peach color box with the drawings on the front was a honey roasted pecan version and the second version came in this blue greenish box and it was a vanilla almond version. The cereal was cornflakes with sliced almonds and either pecans for this version or some vanilla oat clusters in this version. They had a few commercials for this cereal but I remember this one vividly. We know you're out there! Come and get me! Why he could be anywhere. Sheriff? Flash him out. Kellogg's Honey Roasted Pecan Temptations put crunchy flakes, golden honey, and roasted pecans. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I'm coming down too. Hmm? Kellogg's Temptation Cereal. The trouble is, it's just too tempting. Such a silly ad for a sophisticated cereal, but it always stuck with me. This stuff lasted for about three years until 1998 when it was discontinued. I believe the French vanilla version lasted longer than this original honey roasted pecan version. All right, almost finished, but next up we have another cereal that I unfortunately don't own a box of. This one is Magic Puff Cereal. It was released by General Mills back in 1974. There isn't a lot known about this cereal either. We don't have any commercials or backstories for it. Apparently the cereal was crunchy frosted corn puffs. Not really sure what the taste of it was. Some people claim this Magic Hat mascot was also used in a never released Magic Hat cereal by General Mills. That was supposedly cream filled puffs, but I think they might be confusing that with Mr. Wonderful Surprise cereal. Others claim the mascot was inspired by these walking talking hats in a show called Lidsville that was popular with kids in the 70s. What we do know about this cereal is that all the boxes came with a magic trick or magic prize. For example, this one you could send away to join the Magic Hat Magic Club. You would get a book of tricks and other goodies. And this one came with one one of five special magic tricks inside the box. You could collect all five and put on your own little magic show. This cereal lasted for about three years. I wish a commercial of it would surface one day on the internet. Okay, on to our last and final random box today. We're gonna talk about Crunchy Logs. This cereal was released by Kellogg's back in 1978. This wood themed cereal came in two flavors original and strawberry. As you can see, I have this strawberry box here. The mascot there is Bixby Beaver. He's just a beaver who loves to eat logs. That's why the cereal is shaped like little logs of wood there. 
kind of a weird cereal shape. I'm not sure of the taste of the original version, it's probably just sweetened corn cereal. Bixby's catchphrase for this cereal is that it tasted tremendous which is honestly a pretty good pun. Though, unfortunately, I don't think people wanted to eat trees or logs. This box featured a free baseball that you could send away for. You can see here on the back, you got Bixby there warming up for the 1979 baseball season. It looks like there's some other characters there with Bixby. I wish we had a commercial for this stuff. We'd love to explore and expand the lore of Crunchy Log cereal. This stuff lasted for only about a year or so, so I guess it wasn't very popular, which is a shame because it seems like Bixby is a pretty cool mascot. And if given the right cereal to promote, who knows, he could have lasted years. He could have been a classic mascot right up there with Tony the Tiger. All right, so that's gonna do it for these 10 random boxes. I'm glad I got to share them with you, even if it was only just a brief bit about each one. There are plenty more boxes that I'll never get to cover, but I feel like we've done a pretty good job over the years. We've covered hundreds of cereals on this channel. All right, as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. This is the one I want them to bring back the most. Cereal.